So I work with the Trade Desk. Um, they are an advertisement technology company. Um, like we help other companies out there in, in, in advertising on the internet, on digital platforms out there, also uh, on video platforms um, of lately. Tree. There are two different streams of uh, roles wherein you can either be an individual contributor and keep on growing in an engineering pathway or you can become a manager. So my, my role is a cross between the both. Like I do have a small team of my own, which I manage as well as still write code, which is what being an individual contributor means. Uh, well, no day is same. Uh, sometimes I do have the admin work of management, project management or people management. Sometimes it's just sitting the whole day and writing code. The team which I work for is not really a product facing team. My customers are other engineers, other software engineers in this company. So my team makes tooling for them so they can do a better job of delivering the product at the end. Okay, so for product side for Trade Desk, as I said, like we are an advertisement tech platform. It's programmatic advertising. So Anytime when you open up a browser and you see some ads, like Trade Desk is probably one of the companies which serves you those ads. And the tech behind is, is that whenever such an ad is shown to you within 100 of milliseconds, uh, a bidding is performed, wherein there are multiple companies out there who want to show an ad to you, the user in this case, and a real-time bidding happens, just like an auction. Uh, and all of this needs to happen within 100 milliseconds so that the, the user experience for you as a user on internet is not bad and you get to see something which is relevant to what you're searching for and something which you might be interested in. For me, uh, ever since I was little, the, the first day when my father brought a PC home, I knew that I wanted to be in tech. Of course, at that time when I was little, I had a very different idea of how tech would be. But I do love what I do now and what I have done in the last eight plus years of my career. My journey started back in India because I'm originally from there and uh, I have done my bachelor's in computer science and engineering. Uh, it's a four year course in India and I started my career after that. Having said that, that's a very traditional way of getting into tech, but not the only way. I, in my first job, for example, my CTO was a metallurgical engineering student and he was our chief technology officer in the first startup I started my career with. So there are multiple different ways you can get into tech. I, I've met so many other people in tech uh, who come from very non-traditional backgrounds like art, like art or they were in music industry, even hosp hospitality and then they decided to change careers. Like one of my direct reports now, he used to be a lawyer and now he has changed careers um, and he's starting from scratch to become a software engineer. See, at the, at the end of the day, tech is, um, is problem solving. If you're good at solving problems uh, and you have the right skills of knowing how to write code, knowing you know how to design systems, a plus B together gets you to be a good software engineer. There is a creative side to it in a sense that you, there are solutions to problems and they can, not necessarily there's always one solution and there can be multiple solutions and things like that. You work with others to find out what solution works best. It may not be the, the most optimal solution out there, but it, it makes business sense to do right now. So there is a, an art and a craft to, to working in tech as well. but. People see it as something which is way beyond their skills at times, which is not necessarily true. Uh, being good in problem solving is the essence of, I would say, working in tech. Uh, I love the team which I have and the people I work with. I would definitely put that as the highest reason. I also have a really good manager uh, who has a very good EQ as well as an understanding of tech. 
um, through, of course, problem solving and working with, with huge distributed systems has always been one of the things which has attracted me towards more back-end roles in tech. Uh, it does get stressful at times. Um, uh, it does involve a lot of your, uh, I don't know how to put it, but you need to be up to market things at times. Even in tech, the landscape changes so quickly. Um, like I don't do front end, but I know that there are so many front end technologies out there. And I did front end eight years ago, and I clearly have no clue what's happening in the in the in the whole area right now. So if you don't keep yourself abreast with new things which are happening out there, uh, you can probably be behind at times. Of course, the basic coding skills remain the same. Like you need to know a certain uh, coding language or need an understanding of how others are. But even then, uh, even in the coding language landscape, like there are new new languages coming up every now and then, uh, and it, it, it's hard for you to even make a judgment about what's the right, what's the right tool to solve the right problem at times, if you don't know about that. Um, sometimes it's also a chicken egg problem, like the way you grow up in your career is to get good challenges and problems to solve which gives you experience in knowing and recognizing patterns about problem solving but if you don't get the problem you don't get to get that experience and things like that i so when i started my career i joined a startup by the name of zomato in india uh, they have actually ipo'd like two years ago but back then they were a small company. I was one of the first 25 engineers. And when I left, it grew to 130 plus engineers. So I practically hired most of the rest of the engineering team. I helped in hiring. But uh, at the same time, I was very much involved in writing their payment systems. I think that's like uh, still my baby to, to, to this day. Like I've, to an extent that the company has IPO'd and that piece of code which I've written has helped them achieve that today. It's something which I'm really proud of as an achievement. You do need a lot of coding skills and you know, and an understanding of how to write good code. Uh, probably if I would have told that to myself sooner, you know, I would have had some different projects on my resume. Uh, and that's really important to have a good portfolio to, to have an edge and get somewhere in the tech industry. Having a mentor also really makes a lot of difference because then they can guide you what's important and what what's what's useful to get you to to, to places. And um, as I said, um, you don't necessarily need to be from computer science background as long as you have the right skills. The industry is very open when it comes to whom they want to hire. As long as you can pass the interviews, doesn't really matter what your background is.